One, two, three. So this was our Malia-centric episode, and he shot her in the freaking stomach. I'm, I'm so, so mad. Sad. I'm so mad. She's I mean, still like, alive, though. not She's like still he's alive. a redeemable person, but like, what a dick move. I thought he was just gonna like continuously play along the dick lines of like, I'm gonna help you, like maybe I, I can sleep with you at some point. Mm -hmm. But like, he was he doesn't really care about that. He's just like, fool. Hello, yes, I'm going to shoot you so your mom can kill you. That's great. Like, I'm so sorry. Pff, I'm so sorry. Pff. Okay, like, if he has the claws... Oh! Mmm. Mm. That's what the claws do. They're like the grabby grabby power... The grabby claws. grabby power claws. <laughs> yes, Theo now has the grabby grabby power claws. <laughs> Technical terms here. Um, um, which hypothetically should get him the beast's power. Do we know who the beast is, like, during no. the day? We don't know what the beast's day job is yet. Maybe he works at McDonald's. I don't know. I'm, like, still going back and forth. I'm like, do I think this is a real person that we know? Or is it just, like, a real person that we haven't met yet? But, like, I think it would be a dick move to make it. I think it would be a dick move to make it a character that we know. But, like, seriously, who would it be if it was someone that we knew, though? Peter's MIA. Kate's MIA. Derek is MIA. It's, I don't think it's Derek. It's, no, it's not gonna be Derek, but like... Cora's MIA! Ay. I'm not sure if I'd be okay with it being Peter, though. That would be interesting. <sighs> Everyone's gonna be but, so upset if it's Peter, but I'm I mean, just... like, no, I would be, like, upset, but like... I would, would be, be I would be happy in the same way that I'm happy Gerard is back, where it's like, okay, this asshole again, please, for the love of God, but like, at least... I know where you are. Right. Because, like, he's not in Eichen anymore, and I want that answer, even if I don't necessarily want Peter back to screw up everybody else's lives. So, like... Right. But also, like, I feel like it'll be anticlimactic if it's someone that we don't know, because then it's just, like, there's there's yeah. no stakes that way. Right. right. But I can't think of someone that's currently on the show that I would be like, oh, yeah, like, that makes sense that it's that person, and I would like it. So it's, I, I don't know how to handle that conundrum. So Theo needs to get the claws on so that mm. he can take the power. Deucalion's mm -hmm. gonna teach him how to fuse the claws with his own claws, like how to attach his claws. That's probably gonna be a really painful process. I hope we get to see it. <laughs> uh, like, I want him to suffer as long as I don't have to see it. I want him to suffer, but I still don't want to watch somebody's fingernails being pulled Speaking off. Speaking of that, like, what the, like, fucking goggles that, like, stab you in the skull. Listen, like, I'm a not about that life. I know. That not was about awful. that life. That was awful. On an additional note, Deucalion, why? I know. He didn't do anything to you. Scott didn't do anything to you. He let you go. Also, he was giving you a gift. He didn't know it was going to expire. He didn't know Jennifer was going to die. That's Peter's fault. Also, it's Peter. Like, Gerard is back in the picture now, so like he doesn't know about Gerard. Though. Well, I know, but make him find out so he can like shred him to We're pieces. gonna get it. We're gonna get it. This we season. Better, We're gonna get it. We this season. Get it. I feel it in my bones. It's gonna be great. One of them is gonna die. Period. And it Please. better not be Duke. And it better not be Ducalion. Cause I know that he kind of just wants Scott's eyes right now, but I want him to like. I want him to be a man of vision! Mostly because I want him to have his fucking sight. That poor man! He was probably like running through the forest and then Peter killed Jennifer and then he ran into a fucking tree. But also like don't hurt Scott McCall because I will no. hurt you. No. Um, but I still want you to win over Gerard because I hate Deucalion less than I hate Gerard. Okay, but see like, who was just gonna burn Parrish's eye out, you know, if that was a thing yeah. that happened? Yeah. I mean, unless he was like straight up about it, like, were you just gonna burn my eye out? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah cause I'm a dick. Yeah. Wait, so like, does everyone in the army think Parrish is dead? Is dead? The bomb goes off when you cut the wire. I don't know.
But like he had to get home somehow. Yeah, I don't know. So guarantee you we're not getting those answers. <laughs> guarantee we're never gonna learn the answer to that. No. Scott and Liam finally talked. Which, okay, my one my one complaint about that is Scott was like, you still haven't said sorry, actually. And then Liam explained why he hasn't said sorry, but then didn't say it. Like, I understand that you think sorry is not enough, but that doesn't mean that's not a good place to start, hon. Mm, hon, you yeah. can still say it. Yeah. And it's, he didn't. He didn't. But I don't know. I mean, I think the thought that the sentiments there. The fact that like, he explained that, like, he's trying to prove that he is sorry, I think conveys that intent. And this guy reunited with Deaton in the end. Yeah, it was so great. Deaton's back. I thought that I was gonna have to wait the entire season to get him back on the show, but he is back. Good. Maybe he can talk to Chris about how bringing Gerard back to health was like an awful idea. Awful. Remember back in season one when we thought that Deaton was the alpha? Ah, season one. <laughs> Sour wolf. But, oh my god. Oh my god, that climactic scene. So it was great. just like, boom, Malia's kicking ass. Boom, Lydia's kicking ass. Boom, Malia's getting her ass kicked. Boom, Lydia's kicking ass. Boom, Malia's kicking ass. And it was just, oh my god, it was just girls fighting girls and girls conquering over the creeps that live in this mental institution. And I was like, yes, yes. So much feminine success. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Oh yeah, and then Styles went to visit Lydia and I wanted to vomit my tears. That's fine. How much does Natalie know? I don't know. I well, mean, I understand she's going to desperate attempts for her daughter and she like doesn't know like what else to do, but it's like, they're just trying work, to help. work with Scott's yeah. pack. Cause Scott really does have Lydia's best interest in mind mm. a lot more than any of the people in Ike and House do. Fenris is in charge of that ward. And as much as I love the fact that he's played by Posey's dad, like what? Yeah. Dr. Fenris is played by Posey's dad. Okay. First of all, I didn't know that. Second of all, I didn't know that his name was Fenris. You really meet Fenris in the special that they did with AT&T that's called Search for a Cure. And it's way back in season one. Styles and Scott doing research and they go talk to this guy who's, who, who used to believe in werewolves, but then he got like laughed off. So he changed his name to Dr. Fenris so that he could start up like a new like career where if you Googled his name, you wouldn't find mm. him studying werewolves. Right. And I feel it, like that explains an entire chapter of your story that I didn't It does! <laughs> I told you, there's an atlet, there's an author's note on the bottom that I took that plot from Search for a Cure. I think I must have read that and then never watched it. Oh well. Yeah, okay. That, that explains that, that chapter explains in my fanfiction. So yeah. much, okay. <laughs> So we'll see you tonight for more Teen Wolf. Ow.